That's a 20 minutes per round of synthesis, but then again, we're behind on recipes with Skycat. Hello, Sasha. Mm. Sasha, did something happen? Uh, Sasha? Uh, it's just slow. I called your name several times. What happened? Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just feeling a little sleepy. I'm sorry. Sasha, aren't you a little pale today? Crow was right. You should close the shop for today and get some rest. Uh, I'm alright. I'm not sick at all. But Sasha, I just need to sleep a little. So I can still work hard now. Hmm. Sasha, working hard and overworking are different things. Go and rest a little. Uh, I really am okay. I was just feeling sleepy and I zoned out. I got a really fun book and I ended up saying you can help until late at night reading it. Hmm. Uh, it's just Chloe. I won't fall asleep anymore. So will you come again? Of course I will. I would come even if you didn't ask me to. Oh, th thank you very much. But you really should avoid overexerting yourself. I don't want to see you fainting. Uh, yes. I'll try and be a little more careful. No new recipe, though. Then we'll head straight for Rock Shack. Yeah, without recipes, uh, these will go a little bit faster. And the final synthesis events, uh, you can tell which ones they are, or even though they're not the non-recipe ones. So, my lady, about this next Edel brand. Uh, what? It's pretty amazing. I'm afraid it's going to turn out to be something unspeakable. This time, you see, it's ex equipment exclusively for girls. Uh, you're feeling relieved to hear that, aren't you, Croa? Uh, not exactly. The Edel brand for women. Well, it's pretty amazing. Uh, like what? Uh, sexy. Uh, what, what, why would the word sexy even come up? It's for women, after all. Doesn't it need to be sexy? There's nothing appealing about a girl wearing something rugged. We're not really in any situation to be worrying about that sort of thing. So I worried about it in your place and media this. Okay, here's the recipe. It's my greatest masterpiece. So, yet another one to be behind on, most likely. So all I made was the recipe, so you'll be the one to make it. Will it turn out okay? It may be sexy, but it's still useful. It's the Edel brand, after all. I'm scared. Okay, Edel brand for okay. We can okay. We can make it just barely. It is another accessory. I can buy more bandanas from Sasha. Lady, remember the sexy, okay? Sexy. I I don't really get it. Then you'll just have to make see-through underwear. Uh, see-through? I can't make anything see-through with food. If you make it with sugar sculpting, it'll go beyond see-through to see all. I don't want to butt in much, but that's decent, not sexy. You you know you like it. I'll do everything in my power to stop you if you're making sugar sculpted underwear. <laughs> There's our thumbnail. Oh, wow. It's incredibly sexy. No, it's beyond that. Skycat, you slipped out of character. Oh, my lady, I knew you'd make something great no matter what you said. That's what I think it is, right? The thing you, where you go, take me, right? Oh, what are you saying? It's nothing like that. Oh, you're so cute. I seriously want to make you mine. I'd say to calm down, but I doubt it would work. It's just a gift wrap ribbon. <laughs> Accessory for Raven Tails. Not bad. Okay, another accessory. This should unlock a talk topper for Jackery if I've been setting the nose right. Sexy can only mean underwear. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're going to rub applesauce on your body and call it underwear. I'm not doing that. It would make a sticky mess, wouldn't it? That's the wrong part to be concerned about. See through then. Not good enough. Transparent doesn't ensure sexy. Just keep quiet and watch. I'll make you something you'll be surprised at. My opinion is, please don't make it. But you won't listen, will you? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, wow, well, uh, this, is, this is beyond sexy. I told you, see-through isn't the only sexy there is. Is this chocolate bread underwear? To be precise, it's chocolate striped bread underwear. That's a pain, but how about the choco underwear? 
I can imagine what it's like just from the name. This is sexy. Oh, of course. Why do you have that uncomprehending look on your face? Why am I being yelled at? Strike pennies are a man's dream. Seriously. Crow, you're so lifeless. Forget the dreamy man. You don't have a problem with this, right? Isn't the name a bit too straightforward? It's good straightforward. Men are simple, so straightforward catches them more easily. You say the meanest things. Oh, those two are now officially in lover's quarrel, lover's quarrel territory. Nope, oh, crowded again. Oh, again? With the rival restaurant gone, there's no helping it. You have a point. Oh, welcome! Sorry, for, did I ask you to wait just a minute? Oh, just a minute, huh? Many years later! Oh, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Don't worry about it, it didn't take all that long. But the customers really have increased, isn't it tough alone? Well, I suppose so, but as part of the job, so I'm fine. But shouldn't you get another person to help you out at least? Uh, you see, being alone has its merits too, you know. I can't say this too loud, but being an only waitress in this smallest restaurant means I get a lot of freedom. Besides, the pay's pretty good too. Yeah, it really is, right? So it's not just so bad being just me, and I don't have the slightest intention of quitting. I'm just not working for the money though, alright? I put the effort because I actually like this job, you know? I see, but it's a relief to hear you're not about to quit. Really? I mean, if you quit, everyone would be sad, right? You're a popular waitress. I guess so. But I'd be happier if you were sad for me, I think. Happy to have me sad? That's kind of weird. She wants you, Luca. <laughs> and that's the last one for this set. And Pastalia. I was going to go to Anna, but I realized, no, nope, we haven't talked to Cynthia yet. However, we may not have too much with her. This we did get a little bit ahead. However, we should have at least one. Cool! Great news! Great news? Yep, actually, the other day I was taking a stroll and happened to walk by a construction zone. Oh, we make a new recipe after all. And then I saw this guy who was using this huge hammer. I see, then it seems like this recipe will great destructive power. How do you know I made a new recipe? Oh, I get it. It's because of the power of love. Now it's called logic. Heavy tactics. If it were heavy rain, we'd be playing the wrong game. Still, there's a little problem. I don't think it'll turn into a weapon for you. It's for heavy tactical combat, so it weighs quite a lot. I see, well, can't be helped. But I still think it'll be pretty useful. I trust in your skills. You would never make anything useless. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. I'll meet your expectation by making a really huge one. What do you think? At least try to keep it in the range where a person can still hold it. And we make it. Oh, yeah. We got plenty. So, food! And a mask. Oh. Only one way to find out! Hmm, mm, heavy tactics. This is well outside my area of expertise. I'm not really suited to it either. Yeah, this is kind of unreasonable. This is kind of unreasonable for anyone but rugged people. Cool, you're not allowed to get rugged, okay? I don't seem to be physically capable of being rugged. Thank goodness, I don't really like rugged. This isn't a Synchro brand, so isn't that conversation unnecessary? <laughs> we made soap. Something like this, I suppose. Yep, looks good. I tried making it. It's like a ring-shaped yo-yo. The name should be mm, Ring Fromage, I think. Do you ever feel like trying to use these two, Ku? Sometimes I think about what would happen if I could, but I'm best off with using with the weapon I'm used to using. No, oh, then I guess I shouldn't have thought about heavy. Maybe I, I could have seen you that much more or thrilled if we had made a Synchro brand. Isn't it bad for a weapon shop to ignore the existence of everyone who isn't me? So oh, that's very likely a weapon for <laughs> Leglius. Yep. Uh, whether it's better or not, we'll find out. Because let's go ahead and synthesize. Oh, we got a new weapon for Shun, finally. Wow, that looks like it's going to end up really cute. I'm just going by the recipe. 
Well, I may have modified it a bit. It looks like something little kids would love. I might be able to sell oh, that to kids if we took off the dangerous parts. No, I think there's something wrong with kids visiting a weapon shop. Well, then again, look at uh, Link to the Past. As Patty pointed out at SGDQ, you can buy bombs for 50 rupees. I'll sell them to anyone. <laughs> What's wrong, Jockery? Uh, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. And suddenly the anxiety presses in. Well, it is Halloween. Oh, it's into something really scary. How did... How did what was such a cute face turn into this? Who knows? It cracked a bit, so I fixed it, and it did this all on its own. It's a big problem when the person who fixed it claims it did it on its own. <laughs> we'll have a trouble making kids cry and scream up at the top! Couldn't you just not put it up? But it really is that scary. Isn't it more stylish? I don't think so. I can't help thinking it's obviously scary. <laughs> oh, but maybe I can sell it to haunted houses! Don't change your target market all of a sudden. Isn't scary good? It can intimidate the enemy. If I name it the Ogre Crusher, isn't it perfect? Uh, I see. Well thought, Jockery. Then what was the cute thing it started as? <laughs> oh, we'll come again. This is entertaining. Yep, nice little attack boost. As for the Hurricane Spinner, I... Nope. Yeah, we can buy the Hurricane Spinner and Anna. Hello! Have you finally fallen in love with me? Uh, you're in a pretty good mood today. No way! I'm just smiling as I always do. What are you up to? Nothing! It's just the preparations are almost complete at last. What do you mean by preparations? It's still a secret, but I'm sure that you'll be super happy once you find out. I'll be happy. When you're the one saying it, it sounds kind of scary. But it's true! Whoop! Well, what do you need today? I'm not quite done yet, so let's finish things quickly today. No, no new recipe. We are done here. Let's head back to Anna. Okay, this should be enough. Did you double check that we have everything we might need? Of course I did. I'm not a child, you know. Well, we'll see you later. Oh, okay. Huh? Huh? Hmm, what is it? Oh, no, it's nothing. See you. Okay. You didn't talk to Spike today, Jockery. Yeah. Usually you two end up having very long conversations, but what happened now? Didn't Spike look weird to you today? Huh? She wasn't smiling like she usually does, right? Right? <laughs> well, thanks for leaving the shop for us. We can go straight to the next event. Okay, nothing new here. Well, we'll probably wind down. Do one more battle. And one more round, so if we get absolutely nothing... Then I'm going to do some off-screen uh, money grind. Well, probably not. I honestly don't have time to, but... <laughs> uh, when, when I do off-screen IPD grinding, once they, once they spawn again, that should help with money. You can spend more money on synthesis ingredients than anything else in this game. <laughs> okay, another heal. <laughs> Okay. Now, just to... Well, nah. There's a save point in the general store, and... Shop's right next to it. If I don't get an event... Eh, it doesn't matter. Just gotta remember to not accidentally rest. That will trigger an event that I can't ignore. We do have an event with Sasha. Sasha, what are you doing? Oh, it's this claw. What is that? It's a side job. My workload just increased. 
Increased? You mean aside from your main job at the shop? But why? By any chance, have you been so tired lately because of this? Uh, uh... It looks like I've been overdoing it a little. It's not just a little! Even just working at a shop like this is something a child like yourself shouldn't be allowed to do yet. And yet, you gave yourself even more work than that? Of course you're overdoing it! But... What happened? If you say it's nothing, I won't accept it. Uh, I'm having money problems. What? Granny's sickness has worsened. And we still have to pay a lot of money to the hospital. So I have to work much harder. That's why. Hmm. You see Granny's so sick? It looks like she will have to be hospitalized for a while longer. But it's going to cost a lot more money from now on. So that is why you took on extra work. But why didn't you tell me about it before? Didn't I tell you per perfectly clearly that whenever you needed help, you had to tell me? Why did you keep quiet about this? Because I can still cope. But we're friends. So why didn't you come to talk with me about it? You are my dear friend. So of course I would do anything in my power to help you. And yet you didn't tell me anything. You kept all of that to yourself. I'm incredibly sorrowful. Uh, I'm sorry, Sis Chloe. But I always wanted to tell you about it. Then why? Uh, it's because I didn't want you to think that I depended on your kindness. Since we are friends, I wouldn't mind if you depended on me. No, it's fine. I've already decided. Decide on what? I won't continue managing the shop. Oh, what do you mean? It's too difficult. It's really fun, but it's very hard managing the shop all by myself. And even then, I almost never get any customers. So I was thinking of closing the shop and working somewhere else. Are you going to close the shop? Yes, I'm planning to. Well, it can't really be helped, right? Sasha, I think you're really admirable just for having continued with this until now. I'm sorry, since you always came here. Forget it. Huh? Forget about doing that! Sasha, why are you being so weak? This isn't like you. You have worked so hard all this time, so giving up now is completely unacceptable. Sis Chloe, but I... Didn't you say this, that you would protect this shop until your granny came back? I did, but... No but, Sasha. You are a strong girl. You can still try it much harder, can't you? Uh, Sis Chloe, I already... Don't worry. You are a really strong child. So you'll say that you'll do your best as normal, won't you? Uh, no. I don't want to! This has gone beyond hard work now! I worked hard enough already! I worked really, really hard enough already! And no matter how hard I try, I'm still as poor as ever! All the money is spent on Granny's hospitalization, and it isn't even enough! Then, that is one more reason to keep the shop open. If you close it, you'll be even poorer. No matter how hard I try at the shop, even that has its limits! And you could quit your other jobs and work harder only at the shop. You would never understand this, Glow! What? A maiden like you would never understand! You'll never ever understand the feelings of someone poor like me! What is that supposed to mean? You must be joking! Don't even think that you are the only unhappy person in the world. Uh, these two are gonna have to get their own info sphere. I have experienced many painful things too. Much more than you can even imagine. But I tolerated them all until the very end. Unlike you, I stood my ground. No matter what you say, you are doing nothing other than running away from your problems. No, I'm not! I want to save both my granny and her shop! Of course I do! It's just... Then why don't you save both of them? You have so much money that you wouldn't understand! Don't just assume that something like that brings happiness to people. Both of you knock it off right now! <laughs> Come here, Sasha. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Lady Cloche, you said too much. <laughs> oh, Crow. It's all right. Don't get mad at Sis Chloe. I was a bad girl because I endured that all by myself. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You haven't done anything wrong. You had many hardships too, right, Sis Chloe? I thought being the maiden would allow you to have a really happy life. At least for me, it wasn't a good experience. I see. Somehow I feel a little better just because I said everything I couldn't before. Are you sure you're okay, Sasha? I'm fine. I'm okay now. This Chloe and me are alike somehow. Maybe that is making me a little happier. You are right. It makes me a little happier to know that we are alike. That may be one of the reasons why, be, why I can be friends with you. <laughs> yes. I'll continue working the shop. Will you be okay? I feel better after saying everything I wanted to say. But I really have to reflect on having ranted so much to my customers. It's all right. At least to us. To me. After all, didn't I tell you that I want to do everything in my power to help? Yes. <laughs> Looks like I acted a little spoiled. Sasha, will you really continue working in the shop? I will, so I... will work hard? Mm. I'll continue. So don't worry, Sis Chloe. 
Please come back anytime. Hmm. So yeah, spoiler alert, every synthesis shop has kind of one event where they have a little bit of falling out and making up. That's usually the final non-recipe event. So if that's the last one for Sasha, we should get nothing but recipes from her from now on. And are there any others? Is the next question. Yep, more Skycat. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be a longer bonus video than normal. I may split it in two. Ah, oh, lady, I'm so tired. How oh, you look beat? Was the shop busy? Oh, it was awful. Probably the most packed has been in months, I guess. I can't manage with just the dessert they give us. Weren't the desserts here really big? But the problem is there's more fruit and stuff than whipped cream. I like sweet things. If it's not sweet, I don't get any energy. Ah, I want to eat sweets. My body's so heavy and sluggish. You really are tired out. It's worse than just tired. Oh, I really want to eat a bowl or a bucket full of whipped cream so I can feel refreshed. I always say this, but you'll get really fat, you know? I always say this, but you'll really ruin your health, you know? Oh, hang in there, Sky Cat. Well, if we have events without any recipe synthesis, this will be a pretty quick round. Oh, don't need to go to the vertical cave. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the vertical cave. Shape. Now uh, the synchro brand again. I gave you a burst of inspiration this time. Well, I was actually—it was actually when I was in the bath. I thought you saw your face in the steamy mirror. It gave me a heart-stopping feeling, which I tried to give shape. A reflection of a face in a steamy mirror isn't eerie at all. Uh, is it? Actually, I thought you were peeking and was about to splash hot water all over the bathroom. I lack such skills such as entering into a mirror. Yeah, you really can only peek through the window. Okay, here you go. Synchro brand four. I wasn't expecting to get any more recipes. Huh? Doesn't look like really something I can use. It's a weapon for the girls in your party. Didn't you say you needed one? The thought had crossed my mind, but did I ever tell you? Yeah, in the mirror. You scared me way too much. The power of love reflected your heart onto my bathroom mirror. It's invincible! Please, get at least a little scared. Cynthia, I think you're going mad. Oh, but we can make it. So we get a wand, and armor for that one. Ooh, I like that. So we'll ah, make use of... We'll just make one of these and two of the others. I know this is sudden, but I'm going to try pouring in some cutesy love this time. That really is sudden. It's so sudden that I don't understand what it means. In other words, the love so far has been more of an adult love. So I was thinking I'd go with the cutesy girly love this time. Adult? You're no adult. You said something rude. Cool, you're so mean. Hey, it's the truth, isn't it? But will cutesy love go well with a weapon? On that note, there's already something wrong with it go as soon as there's love going into a weapon. The beauty of Synchro Brand is, ju is that it can justify that. And so, go forth with my pure love! Oh, what? It's begun to turn pink! Looks like it's going to be something embarrassing again. <laughs> I'm not using it. <laughs> I know I shouldn't laugh at my own delivery, but... <laughs> Don't reject it so fast! I'll decline as well. <laughs> You're so mean! It's a Synchro brand! It's packed full of love! That's not the problem. It's far worse than merely embarrassing. Isn't this like those once magical girls have in manga? Oh, you read magical girl manga too? I used to, a little. But I never expected to see anything out of one in real life. Anyway, it's too short to use as a weapon. Oh, that's not quite true. Look, this part has voice recognition. Here, Koo, try saying this. Let's see. How can I possibly say such an embarrassing line? Well, fine. Lady Cloche, then. You're telling me to say this? You made it, so of course I'm having you say it. I shouldn't have made it. Go on, hurry! Uh, no, no, power... You're too quiet. Are you okay with being an apathetic maiden? <laughs> now, unleash thy hidden power! Shine, pure maidenly light! Now, call out the wand's name! Now, call out the wand's name! Uh, uh... Lulu Wand! What? The wand extended? How did that work? 
This one responds to the line she just said, and the power of the user's life to show true strength. Yeah, it's been a while since I made something so elaborate. Don't spend so much effort on weird stuff. Anyway, this is clearly not a weapon for me. No, no way! There's no point in Synchro Brand makes weapons that aren't for you. Then think a little more about the design. <laughs> Who gets it? Yep, Gokona gets it. I don't think it's better than what she's got, though. Can we make anything worthwhile with these materials? Who knows? Oh, it does seem like Cynthia can make something out of anything. Oh, does that mean you have confidence in me? I do have confidence in you. Ah, oh, you make me so you just make me so happy. I also worry. Don't throw in a punchline. Come on, I can make a lot of stuff you can use. We do use them, but I'm asking if there aren't too many things to make us hesitate to use them. Ah, you made me mad. Fine then, I'll brainwash you with my love so much that the little things won't bug you. Will this end up as a weapon with brainwashing effects? Don't worry, I have an idea. Though it might be a bit too simulating for naughty sulky coo. Stop saying things that'll cause that'll cause misunderstandings. <laughs> Okay, if it didn't have the hairband and glasses, this would actually be pretty decent. <laughs> oh, we did it! Are you going to equip this? Are you kidding? It would be absolutely wrong for me to wear this! Really? I think it would look pretty good on you. <laughs> oh, but it's a Synchro brand! How can Synchro brand make something cool can't wear? Notice things while you're making it. A school swimsuit, a gym shirt, glasses, and a maid bonnet. Ah! What's wrong? Where's the tail? It's a waste to go this far and not have a tail. That's not the problem! Ah, I got too caught up in it. All because I was thinking too hard about brainwashing Koo. That's extremely disturbing, but isn't it still usable? Yeah, of course, it's just stronger than the armor they sell just anywhere. That's terrifying. But why is there a gym shirt on top of the swimsuit? You wear the gym shirt on top, up, put the bottom half of the swimsuit underneath over to your hips. That way, some midriff still shows when you stretch a bit, despite the shirt. So? That's about what's so good about it, obviously. I doubt you would understand just by hearing about it, but men will easily fall for it. I'll call it the male safeguard. Everyone will get the idea. And look! We use the old sc oh, style school swimsuit. Oh, terrifying. Truly a weapon. Is, isn't that, a, is that amazing? You're hopeless. <laughs> well, let's see what we can equip. So... Oh, ah. Uh, well, add some resistances, but that's okay. Oh, uh, sorry, floral dress. You were handy for a little while. But, as I tend to go with my RPGs, I go with uh, pure defense more than anything else most of the time. Alright, any other events, most likely? Because we always get a second one after the recipe. Hey, cool. there's something I wanted to ask you. Remember you said you'd be troubled when I joked about closing the shop? Is that still true? Do you still need my skill? Yes, of course. There won't be ever be a time in which I won't need you. <laughs> really? Are you really sure? Of course. What's, what's wrong? You're acting somewhat odd today. I'm not acting odd. Not, not odd at all. Y you need me, huh? Okay, then I'm relieved. You seem happy again, Cynthia. It's nothing, really. So you finished doing whatever you needed here, right? You better come again. And that takes care of Asalia for now. Back to Anna, and well, we'll see if we have any more recipes. Yeah, I'm definitely splitting this one in two. <laughs> it's about an hour, hour and a half recording session already. I tried to finish before eight o'clock my time. Oh, oh, no, we don't have anything with uh, Spica. Okay, then we'll fight a quick battle and see if we can't clean anything else out. And this is pretty much the most inefficient way of healing from that battle with Rocky, but at the same time, we do have to fight battles. Might as well do so. <laughs> now, I already did unlock the talk topic for Rocky with her Fun Bun t-shirt. That's why she's back in the Southern Cross. Okay, well, I'm gonna check Rock Check really quick. If Sasha pops up, you know what head to jump. Okay, yep. Just, just Skycat, just Skycat. Oh, 
Oh, crowded again. Wait just a second, my lady. Zoom. <laughs> She's fast. Perhaps she's grown accustomed to this commotion. Impressive. I'm oh, so sorry. I keep you making you wait lately. We don't mind, but are you sure you're okay? Indeed, dealing with such numbers on your own is surely burdensome. I've gotten the hang of handling lately, so I'm fine. You're on a whole other level. I suppose so. But even so, the fatigue may be fun, like, building up a bit. Lately, you see, I've been having trouble getting up. It would seem that I'm playing the, the fatigue is the cause. Uh, I got it! My lady, when you're back to your therapy job, could I have you do me too? Skycat, have you ever gotten therapy from Luca? Come to think of it, you never once have, right? I was pretty much cured by just having my lady around. Being is, being is they're so friendly with each other. But lately, just seeing my lady isn't cutting it. It's like, I keep feeling that I'm pretty much beat mentally. I see, but of course you're worn out with how things are. Then once I'm back to work, I'll give you therapy right off the bat. Really? Yeah, I'll give you a big discount, too. I'm so happy. Thanks, my lady. I mean, you're always taking care of us, too. It's to thank you for that. Eh. Oh, you don't really need to worry about that. Really, it's okay. I want to thank you. Hmm. Hmm? And that's the end of that conversation. Nothing more there. Check Fastalia. Oh. Okay, so we have a fan club and Cynthia. I wasn't expecting any more fan club members to join. Armor subjugation? Is that just creating more pieces of armor or what? <laughs> armor subjugation, that's a new one. Ah, uh, Pasali City. Do not go to the Grand Bell Hall. What's the meaning of this coup? Uh, why are you abruptly screaming at me? There were three kittens abandoned in front of my shop! What kind of knight doesn't protect the weak and helpless? Don't ask me to do such absurd things! What the? Oh god, it's just so unreliable! I knew I was right to have prepared this. A recipe? Of course! When I saw the scared kittens, I thought, that's the power of self-defense is necessary for animals, too. Wait, I kinda know what you're gonna do now, so just calm down. No! It's pointless to continue arguing about it! This is a special recipe made from the mixture of my anger and love! Holy cow, we're just getting recipe after recipe from Cynthia. Hey, hey, wait a second. This isn't something that can be used by humans, so it's our for soon. Animals are alive too, no? Of course they should have the right to defend themselves. This is pro-animal activist shape my heart has taken. I think you're saying something pretty much admirable, yet no matter how much I... I these things are happening because knights like you are doing their job well. If you want to complain, do it after you've made this land a place that doesn't eat, eat these sorts of things anymore. Okay. On the latest round of Can We Make It? Nope. Nope. Buy some extra Ogre Crushers. That's not too expensive, so there's one more ingredient. Okay, no, I can afford. I can make both. Oh. Weapon. Okay, it's two weapons. They're, they're both for Shun. <laughs> Won't it be hard to make a weapon for pets, though? It's worth the effort! Oh, that's, that was the wrong voice. It is indeed. If it will help little animals, this is no problem. Way to go, Lady Cloche! You always have something special to say. But won't the weapon itself be small if it's for pets? How's that going to affect the offensive capability? I thought that part through, so don't worry. Cynthia, shall we try adding equipment to launch bombs? Oh, nice idea! Way to go, maiden! As if that has anything to do with being the maiden. Don't make the pets carry bombs, either! Lady Cloche, it's not, good to it's not such a good idea for pets to have bombs. How can you say that when you just approved of it? Crow, I'll get your hands moving a little. There, bring that over here. Ah, uh, we have decided to completely further weaponize Tuxedo Mask Rose. Such long thorns. That's because it's a weapon! A weapon for pets. The Red Rose Claw. Having a normal weapon make it, it, them less cute, so I tried shaping it like a rose. One must also value appearance. But is it strong? Yep, you, it can even pierce iron. So, I guess a person's body will easily... Enough, I get it. Now, we can protect the animals. 
I just hope the rotors don't get hurt. Ah, oh, it's tough being the straight man, isn't it, Craw? I've never had a pet, so I'm not sure what to do. Even if you never had one, all you need is, is to care about protecting animals. I didn't know you liked animals so much. Small animals, yes. I think it's rare for someone not to like them. I guess you have a point. So I just need to make it a weapon that would go well on an animal. That's right. Yeah, I guess you just made it like the recipe card it says and add a few modifications. Alright, a weapon is perfect for small animals. <laughs> We've invented the chew bone! What do you think? It wouldn't be strange for an animal to be carrying this, what? Would it? It wouldn't be strange. But it's just a bone! Oh, is there a problem with that? It's not bad, but couldn't you have done something about it looks? But when you say animal, I think of something with a bone and his mouth stupidly wagging his tail. That's why I shaped it like a bone. Even so, you didn't need to make it look exactly like a bone. By the way, his name is Bony Bone. How should I say this? It sure doesn't look like a weapon anymore. It's a bone, period. Hmm. That doesn't seem tough enough to be used as a weapon. And it makes a perfectly good weapon for hitting things or whatever else. Can pets hold things like it and hit with them? Well, it was your idea, Cynthia. Well, as for Shun, which one is better? Oh, the bony bone. <laughs> It's all does an isolation people, so I'll take it. Poor guy's probably feeling very insulted right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll come again. Oh, wait, wait! I'll go with you guys from now on. Uh, you're going somewhere too? No, I mean that I'll go with you on your travel starting now. Huh? Uh, wait a minute, I, I don't know what's going on. If I was with you, you wouldn't have to come all the way here, right? And you must be busy, so I'd, it'd save you some time, too. Cynthia, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Don't worry. I know perfectly well this isn't a pleasure trip. Uh, oh, of course, I can't take you with me. Huh? Uh, what? Why? Like you said, we're not doing this for fun. So of course I can't take you. I know that already. Don't worry. No, I can't take you. Uh, why? Didn't you say before you needed my help? If I was with you, you could synthesize whenever you wanted, right? And I could keep your weapons maintained, so wouldn't I be a great help? What would you do, do during your battle? If something happened, would you be able to react to it? If I could at least give you a little support, please take me! A little support? Cynthia, please give up on this. Why can't I? You need my skill, right? You're the one who said you needed it, that you needed me! Then it would be better if we were together! Uh. Cynthia, Crow was worried. Who? He's saying this because he cares about you. When it comes down to battle, is there anything you can do? In the end, dragging him... If you end up dragging him down, you just worry him even more. You don't want Crow to get hurt because of it, do you? No. I don't want that, but... Uh... Koo... I can't come along with you? I'll do anything. If you, if you needed anything made, even if it wasn't a weapon, I'd gladly do it. Sorry. Your feelings do make me happy, though. Don't worry. I'm not weak enough to be defeated that easily. And I have Luke and the others' magic, too. They're capable of using some amazing songs now. That really helps me out. Uh, so you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I get it. Despite your looks, you're actually pretty strong. And if you have magic from Luke and the others, I guess there's nothing to worry about. So I finally understood. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to visit different places and have fun with you too. So you wanted to go on a pleasure trip after all? Ah! No, that was just a slip of the tongue. Forget I said that, please. You really are a troublesome person. Well, I'll be going now. Okay, bye-bye. I guess I just can't be magic, huh? Did you say something? N nothing You absolutely have to come again, okay? <laughs> and here's falling out number two. Not nothing we can do, so... Fortunately, we are... Still making headway. I'm gonna go into the Bell Strike Hall. Do a quick battle in here. And also uh, exit to the world map just in case. But hopefully we are getting close to the end. And yep, we'll stop off. Yeah, I can one-shot these guys too. 
Excellent. Yaruba. Okay, to the world map. And if we're done with Pastalia for now, yep, we are. And Skycat! Whew! Yeah, pretty much everything after this is unlocked through story progression. Well, it's not like we didn't expect this. Yeah, this guy can't look so busy. He doesn't even notice us. Hmm. No point staying here. Let's come back later. Are you sure? We can just get other stuff done first and come again, right? Are you certain, Luca? I think we'll just get in the way being here when it's so crowded. Well, lady? It's okay, Sky Cat. We'll come back later. Hey, hold on! Wait just a little bit. I'll be quick, okay? Okay, then we'll be waiting as usual. Hmm. There's no reason to leave without saying anything. Oh, she's not happy. It hardly seems like the same place when the customer's gone. Yeah, it suddenly gets all quiet. It's kind of lonely. <sighs> uh, Skycat, what's wrong? You seem kind of upset today. Of course! I knew it. It must be tough. Tough? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, are, are you mad? Oh, duh! You came all the way here and tried to leave just like that! Uh, um, you know, you just look really busy. Look, we just get in the way you had to deal with us, right? There's still no reason to just leave without saying anything! Besides, have I ever once said you're getting in my way? Uh, oh no, but Skycat, why are you mad? Eh. So, my lady, what am I to you? What do you mean? Am I really your friend? Of course, right? Why would you even ask? I just can't believe it. Uh, why not? Did I do something to make you mad? I'll apologize then. What, what did I do? That's not it! I'm not looking for an apology! Besides, what happened this time isn't the only reason I'm mad. You've always been like that! Uh, why? I haven't done anything wrong. You ha haven't done anything wrong? Excuse me! Then what's with that attitude you always have with me? You make a show of being friendly with me, but it's always just superficial. It it's not! That's, that's awful, Skycat. How can you say that? Aren't you always saying you're my best friend? <laughs> sure, I say that. So, then you ever once, never once called me a friend? Uh, have, you, uh, once, have you ever once called me a friend, even to someone besides me? Uh, well, don't you get it? I've been aware of it for so long. You have this line job between us. I mean, the first time you came here with Croa, he'd never heard of me, not even my name. What is it? You'll smile and hang out with me to my face, but once you... You don't know me once you leave the restaurant? I meant it when I wanted to get close to you. I wanted to be friends, to see you outside of work too. I was so sure I could be fr good friends with you, and I put everything I had into it. But, but I... Look, my lady. I never once heard you be the first one to say something. You know that. Not even once. Oh. If I don't speak up first, you never talk to me. I can be right there and you'll leave without a word. Can you still say it? Say that you're my friend? Uh, Luca! Don't run off all of a sudden. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I ruined the mood. I'm fine now. So what now? We can't just leave Skycat like... Troa, let it go. Let us hurry on ahead. Hey. Yes, ma'am. But if we go in... Well, nothing more there. I'm just going to do a quick... Quick check. Okay, no, no further event here. I'm going to fight one more battle. Do one more quick check in each area, but we should be all caught up now. And we still can synthesize most of the stuff in there, so we'll probably just have to rely on item drops rather than uh, being able to create the, what I thought was missing. Okay. 
If a battle has not advanced it, then we will definitely be done for now. Nothing in Rockshack. Nothing in Pastalia. And nothing in Anna. So, I'm gonna head back to where I started off. And yeah, we'll be done for that, so I'm going to see you guys for the uh, next session as we advance the story. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, because the place I want to get to in the next stream, next few parts, is my favorite scene in the game. And I will see you then.